National Geographic Readers Penguins. It's taken a minute to load this cover, so we'll just skip over it. It's by Anne Schreiber. That's the author. She wrote the words. The pictures, no one illustrated these pictures because they're real pictures of penguins in their habitat or in their home. What birds cannot fly? What birds spend most of their lives in the ocean but are not fish? What birds live in the coldest part of the world all year long? They swim, they march, they slide through the snow. They are penguins. That's silly. But where are the penguins? All penguins live between the equator, which is a line across the middle of the earth. See right up here where it says equator? So that's a line that goes around the middle of the earth. So penguins live between the equator and the South Pole. So they're down south. Polar bears are up north. Some live in warmer places like the coasts of Africa or Australia. Penguins live on islands, on coasts, and even on icebergs in the sea. They just need to be near water because they spend most of their lives in the water. So they like to swim. So let's take a look at what penguins look like. They're not just any birds. Penguins are perfect for their lives at sea. They have a sleek shape for speed, a layer of blubber to keep them warm. Remember blubber, uh, polar bears had blubber too. It's like a layer of fat or it's kind of like when you put on a winter coat. That's how they stay warm, but theirs is with them all the time. They have big eyes that can see underwater. Well, look, they have webbed feet. They have flippers that help them go fast and it helps them to steer in the water. And then they have a layer of soft feathers to trap heat. Stiff, oily feathers on top help keep water out. So it's kind of like penguins wear like a scuba suit or a wetsuit all the time. Their black backs make them hard to see from above. Their light bellies make them hard to see from below but it's their strong solid flippers that help them escape predators and get where they need to go. Do you guys know what a predator is? A predator is an animal hunts other animals. So the predators are things that would try to eat the penguins like whales. Penguins can swim about 15 miles an hour. When they want to go faster, they leap out of the water as they swim and it's called porpoising because it's also what porpoises do. These are called Gen 2 penguins. There's different types, but this tells me right here, it says Gen 2 penguin. So that's what this picture is of. What's for dinner? Life in the ocean is fish delicious. Penguins eat a lot of fish. They have a hooked bill or their beak. So another name for their beak is called a bill to help them grab their dinner barbs on their tongue so like little spiky things that would be crazy I don't want spiky things on my tongue but barbs on their tongues and in their throats help them to hold on to slippery food would you like a drink of salty water to go with that fish penguins are able to clean the salt out of ocean water they get fresh water to drink and the salt dribbles back into the ocean that's cool Miss Aubrey didn't even know that while penguins are slurping down their dinners, they have to be careful not to end up as dinner themselves. Penguins are the favorite food of marine mammals, such as leopard seals and killer whales. Penguins are also in danger on land. Birds like the squaw, the Australian sea eagle, and the giant petrel eat penguins. Even cats, snakes, foxes, and rats eat penguins when they can. Life on land. On land, most penguins live in a large colony with thousands or even millions of other penguins. If it's too cold, they huddle together. It's so warm inside a huddle that penguins take turn moving to the outside to cool off. Penguins march together to get their nesting ground. Once they wave, strut, shake, and call a nod and dance, they sing to find other penguins. Most penguins stay with their other penguin for many years. Oh, look at the babies. Aren't they so cute? It says that most penguins have two eggs at a time, but only one egg sometimes makes it. The other mother and father take turns keeping the egg warm. When it hatches, the parents keep the chick warm and fed.